Well, it's already hard for so many people living in the city to get to the grocery store. Where you live can mean walking blocks, catching buses, and hailing cabs just to make it to the supermarket. And in Baltimore, feeding your family healthy options may have just gotten a little harder. A city grocery chain is on schedule to close its doors for the last time. According to workers, there were only four Stop Shop Save locations left. Three of them closed within the past couple of weeks. The last is set to shut its doors as soon as their shelves are bare. In a news conference today regarding the Goods for Guns buyback event, Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake was drilled on the chain's closing and city food deserts in general. The mayor says they knew of the closings and are trying to get new grocers to fill the vacancy. But in the meantime, the closings mean a further walk, several bus changes, and sometimes too far a journey for fresh food. Having that supermarket closed and no replacement in the near future is going to make uh, buying food a lot harder for me. I got a walk from Green Mountain Preston all the way up here just to come to the market because they don't have no markets in our neighborhood. And I think they need to keep markets close in the neighborhood. That way that people can go to markets and don't got to worry about catching buses and everything like that. Well, the mayor calls food deserts a priority and says she's already been working with corner stores and grocers to fill the role. She says national grocers see food deserts as an opportunity, and the city is working with them to get new stores in as soon as possible. Right now, nothing is scheduled to take over, but the city is working on creative programs to bring healthy and easily accessible food to people until a new market opens its doors. For more information about food deserts in our city, just log on to our website. That's at abc2news.com slash in focus.